Um, I have another question. It may actually lead us up to the end, and I think it's a good one. This is an audience question again. Uh, what do you make of, uh, I think it's John 14, 6, isn't it? I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. Uh, the question is, is it exclusivistic, inclusive? How do you read that passage? Yeah. I read the passage as absolutely crucial to the gospel. I mean, the gospel is very much interested in making a distinction between what operates below and what operates above. And what operates above is life and truth and God and, of course, righteousness. And what operates below is sin <laughs> and, and appearances, you know. So that throughout the gospel, you have references to uh, the true vine, the true spirit, the true disciple, the true bread, the true water, you know, the, and, and this, this distinction between, you know, the, the true or the, or the genuine or the, you know, uh, real thing and what we have here, for example, you know, manna is bread, but the logos in Jesus is the true bread, you know. So that there is a distinction, as we, as I said, between the realm below and the realm above. Jesus, the Gospel of John, is not a gospel that says that the truth is some something that you have to understand intellectually. The truth is a way of life. And the true life is the life that is generated by the Spirit in all those who are born from above. Jesus, of course, is from above. He's not from below. I mean, the, the Gospel makes that explicit. Jesus is from, you are from below. I am from above, Jesus tells the Jews. He is therefore the truth, but he's also the way. <laughs> that is to say how it is possible to open the world above, you know. So he came, he came down precisely to make the way from below to above. And he is also the life. So in a sense, the truth that is both way and life, that the three words actually are talking about the same thing. You know, gee, the Logos incarnate is the way, the truth, and the life. It is a way of life in a way. <laughs> it, is, it is the way of life which is true precisely because it is born of the Spirit, which, of course, is from above. So that those who are born from the Spirit find in Jesus the truth, the way, and the life. So what I am saying is that in the Gospel of John, truth is not intellectual knowledge. Truth is a way of life, a life. So what, in a sense, we could say what Jesus came to reveal, he came to reveal the Father. He you have seen me, you have seen the Father. But in, re in reality, he didn't come to reveal information. He, in fact, in the Gospel of John, he doesn't reveal any information. The only information he, he, he reveals is to say, I am. I am this and I am that and I and I am that I am. Well, so if you recognize that He is the truth, the way, and the life, <coughs> the gospel has had effect in your life. So I think the 
you know, I'm sure that you're acquainted with the way that this is often used and, and often saying, okay, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that settles it. You have to be a Christian believer or uh, you're going to hell. <laughs> I think that's when we talk exclusivistic versus inclusivistic. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear any of the you're going to hell in what you were saying. Uh, can you can you expand on, I mean, when somebody says that, hey, this is what the gospel says and that's it. Uh, what what how how do you respond to that? I I had an experience yesterday. I met a fellow for the first time in my life, and we had a wonderful time together. And he was telling me that I mean he had told me he had uh, been raised a uh, rather conservative Christian, and he has a brother who is a pastor in uh, we said a fundamentalist Christian church. And he says, my brother thinks that his doctrines are more important than having a good relationship with me. And I was kind of said to myself, man alive, how can this be? How can it be that Christianity can be misinterpreted in this way so that some piece of information, some declarative statement becomes more important than your brother so that you you know make barriers between yourself and your and your blood brother because he doesn't agree with you on this on that on that you know uh, that to me is in other words to make the truth a, a way of separating people in in terms of doctrines uh, to me, it's going against the Gospel of John, and in fact, going against most of the book of the New Testament. Uh, 